What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one of Hockey's Beer Reviews. Now today we also, you know, because the last review was the Stella, which is a very known beer, a very commercially available beer. Today we're following the trend because this is also a widely known commercially available beer. I'm sure most of you recognize it already. This is George Killian's Irish Red. That's right. Killian's as it's known. Killian's Red. Um as it's known. And it says manufactured under license from Brasheers Pelforth SA. Uh, brewed in the Irish tradition. Yeah, in the Irish tradition, but it's not an Irish beer. It's not brewed in Ireland. It's not even imported. No, 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 no. For those of you who don't know, George Killian's Irish Red is brewed, owned, and brewed by Coors. That's right, Coors. The Coors like people, they make Killian's. Um, and I mean, it's, it's not a bad beer. You know, I've had it many times in the past. You know, this is one of those exceptions where I, I review a beer that I have had before that I already have an opinion of. You know, because my, my whole goal with these reviews was to bring you fresh, unbiased opinions. You know, beers I've never had before, have that first taste, you know, share it with you. Um, but this is just one of those beers that people have requested, I review, and it's one of those that I wanted to put out there because a lot of people drink it, much like Blue Moon, a lot of people drink it, and they don't know that Blue Moon and Killian's are made by Coors. Um, so, you know, I figured I would just review it. You know, I haven't had it in forever. I think I had it on tap at the Ale House maybe two months ago because the 20 ounce was like $1.99. It was a special. I think it might have been around Patty's Day, St. Patty's Day. So, I mean, I haven't bought a six pack of it in years. I don't drink it. I don't seek it out, you know. So it is going to be kind of fresh because I haven't had it out the bottle in forever. And uh, we're going to be using my Hurricane Wings Budweiser glass. I figured even though this is Coors, the Budweiser glass is fitting because they're, you know, American macro brewers who make substandard products. Um, now Killian's Irish Red. Punching it up on Beer Advocate. George Killian's Irish Red on Beer Advocate is categorized as an American Amber or a Red Lager. It's 4.9% alcohol by volume, and it's brewed by Coors Brewing, based in Colorado. And on Beer Advocate, out of 749 reviews, it scores a 71, which is about average. Um, jumping over to Rate Beer, George Killian's Irish Red, brewed by Coors Brewing. Um, they categorize it as an American dark lager. Okay. Regardless, um, Killian's Irish Red on rate beer out of 1,762 ratings scores a 24 overall. So, uh, people don't think too highly of it, but it's kind of an average middle ground beer. That's pretty much my opinion of it, if I remember correctly. Again, I haven't had it in forever. So, take a look at the bottle. If you don't already know what this thing looks like, I'm sure you do. Um, the cap will will be uh, good looking on the fridge there. I'll put that up there. So we kind of got the red thing going on today with the red lighter. And even though it is a twist off, screw it. Twist off my ass. I hate twist offs, but anyway. Yeah, I was slick. Anyway, so getting to the review, enough BS. You know, I really dislike Budweiser and Coors, but I have to be honest, if there's nothing else on tap at the restaurant that's worth drinking, I'll have a Killian's. I'll have a Killian's before I have a Bud Light, that, that's for damn sure. Um, so anyways, off into the glass it goes. This is a super filtered beer. I can, I can see the details in the fence posts on the other side of my window. So the window's open and, and yeah, this is it's crystal clear. I can see through I can see the camera through here. Lots of carbonation streaming up through the middle there. Not a whole lot of head, but a decent amount, you know, little little bubbles. It's not fizzy, so that's always good. Um, color wise, orange amber. Orange amber pushing ruby copper, something like that. I've had redder beers than this, but I'll forgive them. It's kind of a reddish amber. And it smells malty, you know, sweet malts, reddish malts, toasty malts, the kind of malts you find in a, a real Irish red. But it's kind of mild. You kind of really got to 
push your face in there to, to pick that up. Not a lot of complexity to the smell, just real basic, like a caramelly malt sweetness. Um, no hops, no bitterness, nothing extra, so, okay. And, uh, you know, I haven't done this in years, but before I got into craft beer, I drank this on, on more than one occasion. So, you know, going back to those days and to everybody out there who drinks this kind of stuff, cheers. Let's see what it's like now. You know the body's the body's kind of light to uh, light to medium on the light side of medium, I guess. And it, it does almost have kind of a creamy, and I'm using this word loosely, but there is kind of like a slight creaminess to the mouthfeel. Um, not a lot of flavor up front, kind of like a real subtle, subdued sweetness with a little bit of kind of like that bite from the carbonation. Um, and it just kind of goes down like that, you know. There's not a lot going on towards the finish. There is a little bit of like a bitter bite from the light amount of hops they use. It's not a hoppy beer by any means. No real bitterness at the finish, just enough to kind of balance it. And there is a slight aftertaste, but it's mild and forgivable. I mean, this thing's just easy drinking, but not memorable at all. be good to put down a burger perhaps some steak fajitas maybe you know but you know in all fairness I've, Irish Reds are not my favorite style of beer but I've had a few of them quite a few of them and this is really just a, a, a middle ground kind of really really plain average version of an Irish Red Ale in in all fairness and to Coors's credit there's nothing off-putting there's nothing really cheap tasting or nasty about it um, but at the same time, there's better Irish Reds out there. Now, for the price, it's not a bad beer. I think the six pack was like six bucks, five or six, eh, six or seven. It was on sale. I think it was five ninety nine. So, you know, for the price and for the availability, you know, there's nothing better going on. It's not a bad deal. You know, this is like a C grade. This is, this is because it's inoffensive. I'll give this a really low, really mild glass, half full. I'll be positive with this one. But again, not spectacular. So if you're a fan of Irish Reds, seek out something better. This is not going to be one of the good ones. But if you like it already, or if you like a beer that's a little on the sweeter side, um, go for it. You know, And since it's inexpensive, you don't really have much to lose, try it out and see what you think of it. And if you like it, you haven't had it before, and you like it, after you drink it once, put it down, don't buy it again, and seek out better Irish Reds. Um, that's really it, man. Not much else to say. Again, a low glass half full, and we'll leave it at that. I'll finish drinking this and get moving. Stay tuned, guys. There's a lot more coming. Uh, more beer reviews, more bullshit, more good stuff, man. Just stay tuned. Remember, uh, Huggies Beer on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. See you on the next one, guys. Cheers.